Hey everybody, how's it going? You know, when it comes to Red Dots, I think most people understand that Aimpoint is at the top of the food chain. They make some of the toughest, most battle-ready Red Dots on the market today. But what comes along with that is going to be the Aimpoint price. If you're getting a good Aimpoint, you're going to be paying over $800 for it. Doesn't matter if it's the T2, the Comp M5, the Comp M4, the Comp M4S, which is what you're looking at here. They they get pretty expensive, which puts them out of a lot of people's budget. They they might want one, but they just can't afford it. Well, I got an Optic in for review yesterday from Optics Planet that I wanted to share with you guys. So before I even do the review, I wanted to show you this optic in particular because it is almost identical to this Aimpoint. If you were looking for something that would be like an Aimpoint clone, it would be this optic. So stay tuned, we'll talk about it. Now, as you saw from the title of this video, this is what I'm calling the $200 aim point. And that's because it, I mean, really, it looks the same. It has a lot of the same features. It's not going to be as tough as an aim point. Let's just put that out there right now. But it is so comparable that for $200, I believe $200, maybe $20, it saves you a lot of money versus this, which is about $830. So the optic that we're gonna be comparing to the Aimpoint Comp M4S is going to be this one right here, the SIG Romeo 7. Okay, so here's a quick look at the two side by side. Now I know it might be a little bit difficult to tell because this one is in FDE, the Aimpoint's gonna be in black, but they are nearly identical in look, in form, in function. Uh, they are, I mean, almost identical clones to each other. I had to take the lens cap off of the SIG to make it uh, you know, appear similar to the Aimpoint because the Aimpoint comes with bikini lens cap covers and the SIG actually comes with some pretty nice flip up lens covers. I couldn't remove the back one. Uh, I didn't want to you know, risk breaking it by yanking on it too hard, so I left the back one on. But you could see the, the look, the style, the design, uh, the battery compartments, the way that they operate, the size of the dot, all of that stuff is nearly identical. Now, Aimpoint obviously is going to have a different mount. They've got this large screw on the bottom right here, and that's going to allow you to use it kind of like a QD mount because it ratchets down, locks into place, it's on there nice and tight. But all you have to do is just give it a nice quick turn. You can pop it off nice and easy. The SIG has a more traditional uh, QD mount where it's a lever that locks into place once you uh, latch it down. So they are very, very similar. The mounts are a little bit different, but for the most part, these optics are very, very close to one another in terms of just about everything else. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the tech specs, details, and features of these two optics right here and see where the differences are. Because again, on paper, and in person, I mean, just holding the two, they seem so similar that you wonder, what am I spending the extra $600 for? Well, if I was just to wrap this video up so you guys didn't have to watch any more of it and you know continue on down the rabbit hole here, I would say that when it comes to the aim point, that extra $600 is gonna be wrapped up in name recognition and in durability. Because with the aim point, especially the Comp M4S, we have a long military service history for it. So we can actually look back and say, this is how this is gonna hold up under these circumstances or these weather conditions, or you know, it, it has this much durability or it doesn't. We can look back and see how well this thing did based off of its you know, service history. We don't have that with the SIG. Now, as far as feel goes, they feel very similar. Uh, the aim point definitely feels a little bit more robust than the SIG does, but the SIG actually does feel pretty good. It feels pretty strong, it feels pretty solid, but you just, you know that when you're getting an aim point, you're getting something that's ridiculously durable. And I think that's really what you're paying the extra money for is knowing that when you buy this one, that's it. Uh, you can, it, it can get beat up, it can get damaged, it can be thrown, it can be dropped, and it's still probably going to run for you. So again, we have that with the aim point and that's where I think the extra money is coming in. But again, let's talk about what's on paper here. So when it comes to the battery compartments, we have two low mount battery compartments on the side, as you see right here. Both of these house AA batteries, so very easy to source, very easy to install. Uh, you know, find these things anywhere. Uh, there are uh, some slight differences between the battery life on these two. Both have extremely long battery life, but the aim point says that on a daylight bright setting, you can get up to 80,000 hours of battery life out of it. That's eight years of battery life on a daytime bright setting. They also say that on night vision mode, you're looking at 500,000 hours of battery life if you leave this on one of the night vision modes, which is you know almost not even visible at all to the naked eye. Uh, with the SIG, they got very, very close to that. You're looking at 62 plus thousand hours out of a single battery in a daytime setting 
on the SIG Romeo 7. So pretty good, six years. It's over six years of battery life on a daytime setting. And again, very similar when you switch it over to night vision mode. Both of these have several daytime modes. Both of these have several night vision modes that'll work with pretty much any generation night vision. So you'd be good across the board either way. Now the mounts, like I showed you before, those are gonna be a little bit different. Uh, the turrets on these are gonna be very similar as well. You can see that on the aim point, we have a plastic tether that holds the cap into place. On the SIG, we have a plastic tether that holds the cap into place. Both of them have one quarter MOA adjustments and you're looking at again, a two MOA dot. So it's a very nice, fine, precise dot. I've used plenty of SIGs in the past and their red dots are actually very nice, uh, especially for somebody like me who has an astigmatism and I tend to see a, a pretty blurry dot when I look through red dots. The SIG red dots have been pretty good and I see pretty well with them. The red dot I would say is just as comparable between the two. Uh, so that that's kind of a wash as far as battery life goes. I mean, maybe you get a better battery life out of the aim point, but I mean, I'm probably changing my battery before six years anyway. I'd probably change it after a year, to be honest with you. So I don't know that that really matters all that much to me. Uh, the fact that it comes with bikini lens cap covers with the aim point is kind of a bummer, especially for 800 bucks. It'd be nice to have some type of flip up cap, but I understand if this is something that's gonna be used in the military, uh, having something that's gonna be you know, flipping up and can get in the way of magnifiers or you know, any other you know, optical devices that might be in front, like a clip on night vision or something like that. You may not want those flip up caps. A bikini style cover might be better for that. So flip up caps with the SIG, bikini lens covers uh, for the aim point. Now, as you can see, when we get our aim point, the aim point actually comes with a kill flash pre-installed in the front. Well, SIG also provides a kill flash that you can install or remove yourself. And uh, it goes in and out pretty easy. It's just a you know, simple thread pattern. So you put this in the front, you thread this in, and you got yourself a kill flash. Both come with batteries and both are ready to go right out of the box. And they're going to co-witness with uh, just about every magnifier that's on the market. Okay, so I went ahead and I installed the kill flash on the SIG so that we could do a weight comparison, more accurate weight comparison between the SIG and the aim point. Uh, what we're looking at here, and this is gonna be with the battery installed, is 13.8 ounces for the SIG, and the aim point is going to be 13.1 ounces. So while the aim point actually does feel a little bit, again, a little bit tougher than the SIG, uh, it's actually a little bit lighter. Now the SIG's obviously available in both black and FTE, but this FTE is gonna be exclusive to Optics Planet. This is the SIG Romeo 7 Op Mod Edition, and that's why you're gonna find it in that FTE. Um, if you guys are interested, I have discounts for both of these. All you have to do is go over to my website, click that little uh, section up at the top left right there, and go to uh, links and discounts, and you'll be able to find all of my codes and stuff that you guys want to save a little bit of money on, on either of these. But uh, uh, again, these are very, very similar Op and for those people on a budget, I would definitely say if you're looking at the Comp M4S and you're looking at the SIG Romeo 7, I, I would say at this point that it's worth it. I'm still going to do a full review and I'm still going to take it out and we're going to put it on all sorts of stuff, 308 shotguns, I mean, you name it, it's going to go on it and we're going to do a full review. But again, they're very similar. Even the, the way that they build up the material on the battery or excuse me, not the battery cap, but the uh, the, the turret covers, uh, those are both protected by the aluminum, so you, you don't have to worry about bumping into it or causing any damage there. Uh, both of them you know, are tethered and the battery caps are tethered and everything looks very, very similar. So you know, it. here's the thing, if you have the budget to get an aim point, I would go the aim point direction. That just, you know, that's that's what I would choose pretty much every single time. It doesn't matter what red dot it is. If I'm looking for a small micro red dot, I'm probably gonna go with a T2 if I have the money. If I want something that's a little bit larger, maybe I'll go with the Comp uh, M4S, right? If I want something that's in between, I go with the Comp M5. Uh, I would go with aim point if I had the money, but if I don't have the money, and I know a lot of people right now are, are hurting or they're having a hard time coming up with funds just because of the way everything is right now in the economy, and you're looking for something you want, you know, something similar to that, uh, I would definitely say that the Aimpoint Romeo 7 would be uh, a solid choice. Uh, you know, again, I'm, I'm basing that off of just stats and I'm basing that off of previous experience with SIG Romeo Optics. They've all worked out just fine for me. As a matter of fact, I probably have seven or eight different SIG Optics and I haven't had a single problem with them for years now. So uh, I assume this one's gonna be fine. So with that assumption being said, uh, that I would say that this is definitely a good option for those people that are looking to save money. Again, it's a quarter of the price 
of the aim point, a quarter of the price and almost nearly identical to it. So definitely worth checking out. Um, I want to thank Optics Planet for sending these out for me to be able to test out and review for you guys. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. And if you're looking for more budget options and you want me to review something, please let me know. Uh, it's easier to have ideas from you guys to see what you guys are looking for than for me to just guess and throw something out there that you guys might not have any interest in at all. So again, feel free to leave those comments down below. You guys have a great day.